Urban farmer Jerry Hebron has been tending on the North End Christian CDC farm for nearly 12 years. But it took Hebron and her associate farmers nearly 15 years to purchase that piece of land. And we saw, you know, white folks coming in with money and capital, and they easily was able to navigate the system and acquire land. And with us, we were not being looked upon as being serious. Hebron, along with Aaron Preston, Tafira Rashan, and Dr. Shakara Tyler are the founders of the Detroit Black Farmer Land Fund, a farming organization on a mission to help smaller urban farms purchase land from the city. It's a whole process, Jetty. It shouldn't be that way, but it is. Like many urban farmers in the metro Detroit area, these farmers decided to transform vacant plots into garden areas for the community. A lot of what we do is out of passion for improving our neighborhoods. But many of these farmers do not own the land they are farming on, leaving them at risk of having their livelihoods taken away. And I've seen it, I've seen it a number of times. According to Rashawn, many farmers struggle to navigate through the legal process of owning land. That's because sometimes they don't know whether to contact the city, the Detroit Land Bank, or another unknown entity. That's why Rashawn and her fellow partners are trying to step in to make this process easier. We're actually holding people's hand through the process, making sure that those gaps aren't left unattended. In just one year, the Detroit Black Farmer Land Fund has partnered with 30 small urban farmers, already helping eight to purchase land. 19 others are just waiting for approval. This was a process that I had had no movement on for a couple of years. And now working through them, I'm moving. Brenda Foster Sharp is a farmer at the Foster Patch Community Garden in Detroit. She currently owns two lots, but is hoping to own two more. In this area, you know, there's enough land for us to be here and have our own little, you know, community, our own little black farming community where we can all support one another. This year, the Black Farmer Land Fund is hoping to help at least 40 more urban farmers giving stability to Black families and communities throughout the Metro Detroit area. For 7 Action News, I'm Jetty Johnson.